10 most educated countries in Africa. Education is the key to unlocking Africa's golden door of freedom for all. It is the foundation of both social and economic development. Education is extremely important because it is an investment in human capital. Education and progress are inextricably linked, and all nations recognize this. It is no secret that only educated people can help their country progress and boast about their economies. Countries with a high level of illiteracy suffer the most from high unemployment and a bad economy. The African continent, on the other hand, is a collection of contrasts. Do you believe your country's literacy rate is so high that it can boast of being one of the 10 most educated in Africa? Some African countries have enacted strict policies to ensure that their citizens have access to education, thereby increasing literacy rates. Watch to the end to find out if your country is one of the top 10 most educated in Africa. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section. Please take a few seconds to like and subscribe to Africa Reloaded. 10. Gabon. Gabon, with a population of 2 million, 321,459 and an 83.20% literacy rate, is one of Africa's most educated countries. Education is compulsory for a total of 10 years, from the age of 6 to the age of 16. The system is modeled after French education, and French is the language of instruction. However, because students need an extra year to learn the French language, primary education lasts six years rather than five in France. Children under the age of six are required to attend free school. Nine. Burundi. Burundi is Africa's ninth most educated country, with a population of 11,890,784. Burundi has an 85.6% literacy rate. Burundi requires six years of compulsory education between the ages of seven and 13. Primary education is, in theory, free at the point of use. Primary education in Burundi lasts six years, from the ages of 7 to 13. Lower secondary is the next educational tier, which includes four more grades. 8. Zimbabwe Before students can attend university in Zimbabwe, they must complete seven years of primary school and six years of secondary school. Zimbabwe's academic year runs from January to December with three months of terms and one month off. There are 40 weeks of school per year. It has a population of 15,261,118 people and a literacy rate of 86.50%. The country has made strides in adult education and provides free public school education to students. Seven, Cape Verde. Cape Verde is Africa's seventh most educated country. Cape Verde has a literacy rate of 87.6% with a population of 555,987. Cape Verdean education is organized into a 6-6 formal education structure, which means that children begin primary school at the age of six and are required to attend school for six years. Cape Verde a small island nation has the potential to become one of Africa's most educated countries. Cape Verde is unquestionably one of Africa's top 10 most educated countries. Literacy rates in Cape Verde have increased since the country's independence in 1975. In 1975, only 40% of the population was literate. Today, more than 80% of the population is literate. 6. Botswana. With a population of 2,351,627 people and an 88.50% literacy rate, it ranks 6. The education system in the country is free but not compulsory. Botswana's education system is compulsory between the ages of 5 and 8, and it ends between the ages of 16 and 18. 
You can either attend a public school, a certified private school, or a homeschool program. In Botswana, education is not compulsory. However, the first 10 years, beginning at the age of six, are free. Primary school lasts seven years, the first four of which are taught in Setswana. Following that, classes are given in English. Five, Mauritius. The annual population growth rate is currently 0.4%. Mauritius currently has a population of 1,274,450 451 people and a literacy rate of 90.60%. Mauritius' education system is largely based on the British system, with a 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 system of formal education. Mauritius' education system is divided into four major sectors, pre-primary, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Secondary education was optional, but provided free of charge. The University of Mauritius provided higher education. Since 1976, secondary education has been free, and post-secondary education has been free since 1988. Libya. The Libyan government provides free primary education to all citizens and makes it mandatory. Libya has experienced civil war in the past. Today, the country is working hard to maintain order. Libya, in addition to being one of the most educated African countries, is one of the wealthiest African countries due to its vast oil reserves. Libya is one of Africa's most educated countries. Its literacy rate is 91.00%. Libya currently has a population of 7,043,258 people. Children aged 6 to 15 attend primary school before continuing on to secondary school for three years, 15 to 18 year olds. 3. Seychelles. Seychelles is Africa's third most educated country. Seychelles has a literacy rate of 91.8% with a population of 98,347. Education in seashells is compulsory until the age of 16 and free until the age of 18. Uniforms must be purchased, but not books or tuition. Seychelles does not have primary school attendance statistics. In 2002, 99% of children who started primary school were expected to finish. According to reports, the country is the only one to have achieved all six of UNESCO's education for all goals. Adult education was also heavily promoted in the country. 2. South Africa. The population is 59,308,690 people, and the literacy rate is 94.30%. South Africa's education system is primarily divided into three levels. General education and training, further education and training, and higher education and training. The first six years of life are spent in primary school, where literacy and numeracy are established. South Africa is home to some of the best and highest quality universities in Africa, as well as some of the best in the world. The high literacy rate has made South Africa to be one of the most developed nations in Africa. One, Equatorial Guinea. The presence of Equatorial Guinea in this position is quite surprising. Equatorial Guinea established its main tertiary academic institution in 1995, which is considered a short period for the country to achieve a significant educational system. With a population of 1,496,662, Equatorial Guinea has a literacy rate of 95.30%. Equatorial Guinea established tertiary education in 1995 and has seen continuous educational progress since then. In 2001, approximately 35% of children aged 3 to 6 were enrolled in some form of preschool program. These are Africa's top 10 most educated countries. What are your thoughts on this? 
Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Please like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more educational content. Watch our video of the most educated presidents in Africa.